to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. He wants to be our number one reporter. We've been one Larkin as an outstanding guest here, and that's Reverend Joyce Daniel Williams, and this is uh, concerning outreach ministry. And th- she's incorporated D.C., and now she's working out of uh, Aberdeen. Hi, how you doing? I'm wonderful. Welcome to the Ed Brown Show. Uh, you want to give us a little background on your guests that you have here, Miss Lawrence? We would like to say that this is March, Women's History Month, and we are saluting Reverend Joyce Daniels Williams. We're so fortunate to have her here with us. Uh, she is a preacher's preacher. She preaches and teaches the gospel uh, throughout the country. Uh, She's been to numerous places. Uh, She's affiliated with the full gospel churches of Dallas, Texas. Is that Uh, right? I'm going there for my uh, family reunion next month, Dallas, Texas. So you have to give me some phone phone numbers. Yeah, (laughs) she's she's a a gifted and anointed counselor as well as preacher and teacher and she's a conference facilitator and she a thing everything. that is outstanding about Reverend Williams is that she's founder and president of a greater love ministries AGL Inc which is an outreach ministry and what they're dedicated to do is to reach out to the masses through prayer and charity. So she does a lot of charitable work in the area. All right, let's get uh, Reverend uh, Daniel Williams. Let, let, let's get your background here. You yes. know, uh, where did you do your undergrad and just how do you get involved in outreach? You know, that, that's a lot of volunteer work, I yes. know, you know, yes. and it's a tough job. Yes, it is. Well, my undergraduate um, work was at the University of Stray, Australia University, mm-hmm. located in the District of Columbia. Mm-hmm. And I Wonderful. started there with them in uh, 1987. And I started out actually um, going for, um, um, what you call it, um, business, business administration. administration right. mm-hmm. And I completed an uh, undergrad degree at Strayer University, Mm -hmm. and then from there I went to Howard University and um, completed a master's in in divinity. In divinity. How did you jump from business to divinity? (laughs) Actually, (laughs) you know, it's just how God works because (laughs) Tell me about it. I, it's it's the way the Lord works because as He Isn't guided me, yes, He guided me all throughout my mm-hmm. um, w- throughout my um, educational yeah. um, s- studies and what have you. And the whole time that I was um, studying at Strayer University, God was with me. I tell so you. So after Isn't he wonderful? doing that, He's wonderful. I tell you, He's a he, wonderful he, guy. He, he does things that we think yeah, yes. you know, we think we're in charge and we're we're responsible for it. But yes. he leads and guides us. He uh, really right. does. He guides yes, us. He does. Does. So uh, as far as this, then uh, after leaving school, then you decided to uh, get into the outreach ministry? Decided to get into the outreach ministry. It was God ordained. I tell you, um, I had been in a citywide choir, and it was like the Lord just touched my heart for the people of God. I was living in the District of Columbia at that time, and I would see people that really, really were crying out for help. And by that, God just touched my heart, and and, and, and a greater love ministry, he Mm. put in my spirit as I was asleep one night and woke up, and and God just gave me that revelation of an outreach ministry. And I asked God, I said, God, what would you have me to call it? You talk to him. Yes, I talk to God. We 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 all talk to him. We can talk to God. We wonder what we get a problem, wonder what we're going to do. You know what I mean? There was a young lady that I had on my show uh, 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 last month, and and she didn't get a copy of the uh, DVD. So I brought it today. I said, well, uh, I'll call her and tell her to come by and pick it up. And guess what? I went into the Dollar Tree just to look at some old DVDs. I was looking for mm-hmm. Lone Ranger for my grandson children, you know. And there she was working wow. in the uh, a dollar store. Can you believe that? I said, now, God, God, ain't no that's way. That's how God works. 
Uh, he works in mysterious, in mysterious ways. Yes. I tell you. And yes. nobody, nobody can do decide. you like that. I tell you. No one can right. do you like because that. Because he, he leads you when you don't want to be led. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> he does. Know? He does. He, he, you, you, you fight it all the time. No, you want to go this way. He makes things happen. He makes it, things it's, happen. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Yes, it is. Yeah. And uh, what is this military background that you have? Well, actually, with the military background, mm-hmm. I was a chaplain in the Air Force, which is, is right? a very, very fulfilling uh, mm-hmm. position well, wh- as what a chaplain. Did you go over the seat? You were a chaplain? Yes, yeah, chaplain. You just in the Air Force? It just wasn't in the Air yeah, Force, you were but a chaplain, chaplain oh, in the Air God, Force. The problems that you run into there. Yes. Oh, okay. As far as outreach, the, the, the youngsters, when they go into, they have a different, uh, you know, when these uh, when they're selling the military, they paint a different picture. And once the youngster gets in there, he finds out there's a lot of limitations in there. Yes. And you got you had to deal with that. Had to deal with. I know that. how I was in Korea. I was drafted. Didn't want to yeah. be there. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, I was arrogant. Yeah. <laughs> and that type of thing. You know, some people get older than others uh, can't, and they need someone to talk to. You know, they're not they're not strong enough to. Uh, talk to the man, but that's that's what I've always done in my life. I talk to him, mm-hmm. and when I talk to him, he comes up with the answer. <laughs> you know, know he, he and I hadn't thought about answer. that. Yes. You know, how many times has that happened to you? Oh, oh where, where, so where many you, where you times. had a problem, mm-hmm. you talk to him, mm-hmm. and hey, then all of a sudden he opens the door for you. Yes, he does. You know, I, I mean, it's a wonderful feeling when you go when you when you see it happening to you, not when somebody tell you when you actually experience those mm-hmm. things you know and you can talk about it and with the servicemen they had they have all kinds of uh, social of and uh, uh, mental problems, problems uh, yes. from the uh, um, Iraq war there was uh, so many youngsters that were committing suicide you know, you know that type of thing yes um, we we dealt with um, those that are coming back from Iraq and what have you and uh, like you just mentioned, a lot of them are uh, having post-traumatic stress right. disorders, and um, mm-hmm. a lot of them are just um, can't understand how um, to transition right. from to in, mil- from military. war. Yes, yes. and um, get because back you're into in an environment there. Yes, uh, you're in an environment where you are told <laughs> you don't have a choice. You are told what to do mm-hmm. and how to do it and when to do it. Yes. And then you make a transition where all of those things, you got to make those decisions yourself, you know, your responsibility. Mm-hmm. And see, with the service there, uh, uh, as you know, the command, that's why we have bars, stripes, and all that kind of stuff. It, it's, it's rigid, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Uh, if, of if, course. You, if you don't do what you're told, you're going to get court-martialed, you know, or whatever, you know. So a uh, uh, person really has to make an adjustment. And I think that's where in the service uh, they fail to realize that they sell, they sell the best part of it, you know, but they don't tell you the trauma, the, the adjustment that you have to make going in from a civilian life mm-hmm. into a military life. And then it's even worse coming out of the military life mm-hmm. into the civilian, civilian life. Civilian, of yeah. course. Because mm-hmm. the, the young men have had so many problems from Iraq. And your outreach program, you emphasize that too, huh? Most yep. definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. And, and l- tell us something. How do you do that? Tell us more about it. Well, yeah. actually, as I'm glad you mentioned that because I just finished a term appointment with the Veterans Administration, mm-hmm. and I dealt with a lot of the um, veterans here, um, some that were coming out of As- Afghanistan and um, Iraq mm-hmm. that needed uh, to yeah. hear from a chaplain to let encourage them, mm-hmm. to pray for them, to let them know that we care for them. Because a lot of times when um, even some of the World War II veterans, when they come, we have to just say, look, um, to the veterans that we're right. glad that you are home, we're glad you're back, and we appreciate your service 